What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Subnautica. My name is Splattercat, really happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. Apparently it's nighttime. we got some lovely moonlight coming down. That'll be cool. I've been working on this base a little bit, but I think everything's more or less ready to go. So it's time for more episodes. Welcome on back. So we got alien containment going on over here. Okay, I've got multiple playthroughs going on right now, so I gotta refamiliarize myself every single time I do anything because I got different playthroughs going on, and every single one has like a different base and has things in different spots, and I've just gotta get used to it again once I'm in here. Oh my god, it is pitch black out here. Okay, well, in today's episode, we probably wanna focus on research and getting our base up and running. Oh my god, that thing is really, really tall. I hadn't actually thought that I had built it that tall. Okay, that's. Fine, whatever. Doesn't really matter. It just gives us more space. Alien containment in there is going to be absolutely pristine. There's a heat signature down there. Somebody's writing their name with heat. We need to get another... I'm going to get another air tank. So, you can stack your air tanks. I should have known this, and I'm not sure why I forgot, but you can stack air tanks, and for some reason, I just didn't recall. Where are my air tanks at? Where are my air? Where are my air? Where are my air at? Uh, I need four titanium and some glass. Okay, well that's a little bit of a bummer, but we can go get some more titanium fairly easily. While we're out and about... So my... Have we done the construction thing yet? Have we built the... Let's see here. The mobile vehicle bay has not been built yet, and so we still have quite a few little things that need to get done. We need to work on our power infrastructure. We need to work on a lot of... Wow, it is really dark. Where did we build our base? On the abyss of hell? Good lord. Okay, so we're right on the edge of the red grass biome. That's workable. That's not bad. I think we can make this happen. Alright, I'm aware. We probably need to... Have I gathered all of the rando stuff over here? Is my next question. Got a sea glide fragment right there. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that since we've got a sea glide, we've probably taken care of that. What's this peeper doing? Hey. Hey, peeps. You wanna get caught? Because I would like to catch you and eat you. If there's any air sacs around, that would help as well. I see boomerangs. There's my air sacs. Okay, so let's go get them. I'm gonna turn off the flashlight. My rationale here is that I gotta save on electricity. Unfortunately, we're kind of in that mode right now where when batteries run out, we can't really do anything. Later on, we'll be able to actually replenish our batteries, which will be the shit because that's one of the new technologies they've added in this patch. I've actually played like 10 or 15 hours in one of my other games. It's been absolutely insane how much time I've put in. They actually, they've added enough content to the game where you can play for quite some time before you actually have to break off for lack of anything to do. I would say it's pretty easy to get at least 15, 20 hours in before you even start to run into things where you're like, alright, well, what do I want to do now, you know? Um, I could preserve some fish, maybe, for food later. Let me get some oxygen back, though. Alright, I want to pick up some quartz, too. I want to make sure that we're, like, squared away on quartz for quite some time. And I know we spent a lot of time looking for it in the last episode or two, but that's because quartz really is, like, a limiting reagent for your character right now. I heard rumors somewhere that the main character in this game is actually a lady. I was looking at some of I think it might be true too because I was looking at a lot of the concept art and a lot of the concept art seems to have the character as like a lady diver and I had no idea that was something that I hadn't really thought about. I kind of saw the character as genderless, I don't know. I, I just saw it as like a viewpoint, like essentially it's just a place for them to mount the camera. I thought that was kind of interesting though. I mean some of them the guy's male too so who knows, it could go either way, however. Not really sure, it's just a thing that I noticed the other day and I figured I'd bring it up in an episode because why not? We never talk about cool stuff. And so while well, I try to talk about cool stuff, it's just that like the limits for cool stuff that I have available in my brain at any given moment seems to be quite a bit more constrained than I thought it was all by my lonesome. We got enough water to last a while. Hopefully these don't just do 20%. Oh, they do 20%. Alright, we'll stabilize out. We got two fish right there. That should be enough for us to be feeling a little bit better before we do anything else. That's a big fish right there, though. You'd figure that thing could be a meal. Then again, I don't really eat fish, so I wouldn't know. Does fish stick to your ribs, or are you hungry like five minutes after you eat fish? I don't know. I don't eat fish. I don't like fish at all. I'm not a big seafood fan. I suppose if you deep fry it, I'd probably be on board. But if you deep fry anything, I'd be on board. 
Oh, we got stuff in here too? Well, then we need to move some of this around. This is not acceptable. Bunch of dead batteries. Okay. About to have a bunch more dead batteries. We need to figure out our battery situation. If we don't get the battery recharger, it's going to be kind of slow going for us. Now, the good news is that our base is built right on the edge of the area where we can get the battery charger. So, all things considered, it could be a lot worse. I need more titanium, though. There's one. It's weird that there's just titanium growing on the sides of the walls in here. It weirds me out every single time. Like, why is there titanium just growing on the side of a wall? It's just there, just being titanium. I was going to make a joke about loose-tanium, because, you know, you got tight-tanium, and then... I, I, I was pondering. That's what that silence was right there. I was like, well, loose-tanium seems like a stretch. It seems like that might make people groan and possibly hate me a little bit more than they already do, so... Maybe I'll just stay away from that for a little while. We need an extra air tank, though. Maybe even two. We're going to be doing some deep diving here, and it would be nice to be able to keep ourselves locked in. Radiation suit's probably up next. Fiber mesh, I think we get from harvesting creep vine, if I remember right. I don't know. One of the benefits, I've been streaming this game a lot lately. One of the benefits of streaming the game is that people can tell me, like, what I've missed. If I'm like, where is this thing at? People will just be like, oh, yeah, you got to do this. So non-precious metals. We got titanium in there. Copper, I would say, is semi-precious. Uh, we'll put the quartz in here, too, because why not? Our power usage seems to be balanced out. I don't think we... I'll put the silicone in there as well, just because I got nowhere else to put it. And inside precious metals, we got our one stack O gold. Now, we're almost out of batteries. I don't like that at all. I don't like that one little bit. But, we don't have the battery charger pattern, so it's like, what am I going to do about it? You feel me? So... Hey, there's a spade fish right there. This dude looked like dinner to me. Yup, there he is. He's got like a little gripple on him. You'd think that would be kind of a bad investment as far as evolution goes. Giving like predators and things something to grip you by seems like a bad plan, but then again it must have some kind of function, otherwise he wouldn't have evolved it. This area should be largely safe. Every now and again you'll come across one of those little sand shark things down here. It's also possible that you may have issues with those little things right there, those little sea leeches. you got to watch out for them, too, because they'll get you. They'll try. They will definitely try. So we've got a unit right there. I would actually love to pick up some ore while I'm down in this area as well. So that's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. I'm just going to cash that one in because it's useful to me as a titanium source. After you've actually finished off, God, can you imagine being in the presence of such a large creature? That'd be crazy. Like, for example, I would love to swim with, like, gray whales or something like that. Like, I would be totally down. I don't like the ocean, and I don't like dark water, but I think I would be okay with it. Like, I would be down. My fiance, on the other hand, she was like, no, I would never do that. That's, it's just too big of a creature, and it could accidentally hurt you. And I'd be like, well, you could accidentally fall off a curb while walking down the street, you know? It's... It would still be a badass memory just sitting there with a big ass whale, looking right in his whale eye, and just be like, hey, what's going on, whale? I am a temporary oceanic sea monkey. Just hanging out here for right now, chilling. I am going to use my temporary aerial view. To look for. Ah, oh, shit. We may need to boogie. Sounds like something's trying to hurt me. Things are always trying to hurt me in this game. It is... There's a rolly thing over there. Okay. Ah, there's the battery charger. Cool. And we've actually already got a shard. I was unaware of the fact that we've already collected a shard of the battery charger. So that'll actually save us a little bit of time too because this is going to be a major part of our technological repertoire. Like, we need this really, really badly. I... I think that's a sea moth piece right there. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, by the time we're diving down here, though, I barely have enough oxygen. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So maybe I'll use the sea glide for right now. I've only got 40% battery left, and I don't want to build more batteries. We've already got like seven batteries sitting around, and building more of them. I suppose I could build more just to turn into power cells. 
But I don't know. It seems like a waste to me. We'll use the sea glide to dive, and then from there we'll put it away. That is a piece of sea moth, so we want that. You filthy piece of sea moth. Ooh, and there's a thingy right here. Ah, battery charger fragment, good. So that should give us the technological advancement that we need. We can now make the battery charger. We've got the Seamoth fragment over here. Seamoth is going to be really, really important for us because it's able to bear you to places with oxygen that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get to even with the Sea Glide. And so it just allows you to dive down to like 200 meters and then from there you can take the Sea Glide out. And you'll probably be good to go. I don't like what's happening right now. There is some scrap metal right here, though. I'd be down for that. Let's go back up to the surface, yeah? We're almost out of battery, but... Let me... Yeah, we'll slap it on the charger real fast, too. We'll make this thing happen, Captain. Speaking of which, if you, if you deal with robots and or machinery on a daily basis, do yourself a favor... And don't slap them on the battery. They count that as kind of like the caboose of the robot. And slapping things on its caboose is not cool, bro. It's not cool. It'll get you into trouble. You gotta keep that on the you gotta keep that on the D low. Otherwise you get called on it eventually. You will get called on it eventually. And they'd be like, hey, why are you slapping my robo butt? And I'd be like, I didn't know it was the butt. And they'd be like, hmm. Ignorance is no excuse for oh, there's a battery charger fragment right here, too. I didn't know you could get battery charger fragments in the green zone. Interesting. I learned things today. A little bit of lead, a little bit of silver. We're going to need a lot of that later on, so we should probably start gathering metals now for the big projects ahead. If you see any scrap laying around, I wouldn't hesitate to pick it up on the way back home. We'll turn that into titanium, then we'll throw it into storage. We're actually blessed right now with a fairly empty inventory, and so picking up some of this stuff I think is going to be a really smart plan on our part. Is that right there? I think that's the new salt graphic. They made it a lot bigger and a lot more rotund so that you can see it a tad better, which is good. Welcome because previously it was actually pretty difficult to see salt a lot of the time, especially if it was down inside of grass or anything else. Let's get all of this converted on over. Alright, and now that we have converted all of the metal salvage into the titanium that we require to get our little tasks done. We do need an ingot to build the MCV thing that allows us to build a vehicle. We've got a spade fish right there. I'll probably cook him up and eat him right now because got no better use for him and I want my inventory space back. We'll drink the water to knock that out. That actually was not a bad time for us. We did okay. Where's our constructor at? We gotta get this battery charger up and running like right now. Titanium, glass, copper wire, computer chip. Okay, that's expensive, and it's not something that I want to get in on completely right now. Do I have quartz? I have quartz. We'll make the glass. I think I already have... Nope, I don't want that. We'll just call this... Non... P. Ooh, with a dash. Yeah, there we go. That works. I've got a little bit of copper. Not a lot, but enough. So I'm thankful for that. And now we need quartz. And for the computer chip, we need table coral. Shouldn't be too bad. Quartz and table coral. I think I have quartz sitting right there. The table coral, however, I don't think I have any of. But if I know the zone well enough, there's sh I think there's some like right around here. Yeah, the universe just tried to get me right there. Tried to make me choke in the middle of an episode. Yeah, we actually have a bunch of table quartz over here. Or, I'm sorry, a bunch of table corals. I don't think it matters what color they are. I think later on they're going to distinguish it a little bit. But for right now with where we're at, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of it because my experience has been that you're going to need at least 20 computer chips or so throughout the course of the game for random upgrades and parts. And if you could pick it all up right now so that you can just grab it out of a drawer somewhere before you go back into the abyss, that's probably what you want to do. So we got our table coral. We needed... Silver? Oh, I got silver in my inventory already. Okay. Electronics, there's our computer chip. Now be aware, this thing will drain power off of our base, so... It'll get you if you're not careful. There's our battery charger. 
Now what we wanted to go back and get are all of the batteries out of... Well, let me throw at least one battery in here for right now so that we can recharge it. You just put them in here. It's very, very simple how it works. You drop it in there. You left click. And it sits there, and it's actually really, really interactive. I love how it's got its own little digital UI right there, where it shows you the percentage of, like, what it's got left inside the batteries, and it tracks all four of them separately. It's very, very cool. I like that a lot. Be careful about your power levels. Overnight, they are going to drop a little bit. We don't have any mass reactors or anything like that. You can get reactors that will turn basically anything you can find into the ocean, or anything you find in the ocean into parts. I'm sorry. It'll take parts from just about anything you can find in the ocean and convert them into electricity. It's really, really useful. It is a shocking conversion, and I highly recommend that you do it because you're going to be needing a lot of electricity. I usually top out my base around 700 or 800 electricity. That's just for me personally. Uh, that's to make sure that every time you dock the sea moth, it doesn't drain all of your electricity off. We should have more than enough batteries from here on in. The next thing that we're going to want to look for are sea moth pieces. Once we've got the sea moth pieces sorted out, we're going to want to look for the power cell charger. We're going to want to look for the pieces of the sea moth upgrade bay so that we could dock the sea moth. And then when we dock the sea moth, we can add a whole bunch of attachments to it. Torpedo launchers, electrical shock prods. You could do all kinds of cool stuff now with the sea moth. Oh, sorry, spade fish. You came too close to the predator's lair. Should have known better, amigo. Should have known better. And there it is. We should be able to wait these out now. Now, it's going to take a little bit for these to get done. And so I would suggest we just find something else to work on for right now. I've got computer chips. I was actually going to eat this spade fish, if you didn't mind. I mean, he looks pretty delicious. I kind of want him. I've got titanium. I've got a little bit of quartz. What did I have left on alien containment over here? I'm going to have to get a feel for my base. I'm not used to this just yet. It needs three glass. Okay, so that's pretty expensive. We can make that happen, though. We can make that happen. Shouldn't be too bad. And my batteries are all dead as hell. I need batteries badly. Throw the titanium in there. Good. Storage successful. I may actually use this time... To build yet another storage locker. Like right. There. It looks a little bit higher. But oh well. We'll keep this basically rotating around so that we've got a ton of storage space in this room. We won't have room for windows or anything else like that. We don't have time for admiring the natural beauty of nature. We must build and exploit and move materials around and be men with mustaches who trade things for money and sit around smoking cigars and whisking brandy around in our mouths going, hmm, indeed, indeed, for certain. Yes, it is interesting to see the Nikkei market slip this month. Hmm, indubitably. I must talk to my guy. Alright, so if I was Quartz, where would I hide here? I don't really think I've gone off in this direction very frequently, so... That's what I'm gonna do. That scared me for a second. I was like, what is this doing over here? It's a life pod! Hooray for life pods! Some Quartz down in here. We need a lot of it. Like, we need truckloads of the shit, so it's gonna be a little bit while we go out and find this stuff. We should probably also start future stocking lubricant. Lubricant is kind of important. And we're gonna need a lot of it to do like 80% of our projects. We're going to need considerable quantities of it. Not even considerable, like quantities that are just like, god damn it, we need a lot of this. So make it happen. Call in a shipment. An airstrike of lubricant. Just have them chopper gunner us with lubricant. Just spray it all over us. We'll be slippery and the predators won't be able to take us. I don't know if floaters are useful for anything yet. I know if you attach them to your base, it's all kind of bad because I did it because I wanted to see what was going to happen. And I was right. It was all kinds of bad. Well, here, floater, I will scan you. Can I scan the floater?
Hold on, Oxygen. I'm doing science right now. I've got to scan this weird little floaty thing. Hey, right, who you call it weird? I'll have you know my people are honorable. For thousands of years, we have stood the line and guarded the walls and also floated things. I mean, the floating things is mostly what we do. We haven't guarded the wall in probably several thousand years, but you know, we're ready to. At a moment's notice, with our little spears, if it's necessary. Like, dude, you have spears? Can I have one? This game seems kind of non-lethal so far. And I just need anything that will hurt my enemies and make them sad about messing with me. I don't think I need that right now. Sure. I'll take some of that. Hmm. What is this right here? A solar panel fragment. Okay, that doesn't help me. That is minimally helpful. Where are the stalkers at, by the way? I don't have my sea glide, so it might be a little bit difficult to outrun an alligator menace or weird alligolphins. I think I called them dolphinigators the last time that I played. This time we're going to call them, like, alligolphins. Either way, they seem to go away at night. Has anybody else noticed that? I don't know if they're not nocturnal or something, but it seems like they leave at night to me. Uh, you guys know. We do have a lot of quartz already. I'm actually going to drop these salt deposits. I ain't got time for that shenanigans right now. I want to make sure we have enough glass to really, really, really finish off some of the construction at our base. And there was a couple sitting on the shelf over here. There we go. Perfect. And then just salt slowly rolling towards the bottom of the ocean. So much salt right now. So much salt and nowhere to put it. I cannot see worth jack right now. I think our base is this way. It looks familiar. We've got our little underwater humpus over here, so... God, I swim so slowly. It's like I don't even own fins. Do I own fins? Have I put fins on my feet yet? Oh, I do have the fins. Okay. Because it doesn't feel like I have fins. It feels like I'm swimming very slowly right now. Hopefully our batteries will be recharged once we get back down in here. At least a couple of them so we can swap them out as quickly as need be. I may actually make like two more. I don't know where the sweet spot is on these, but we need to find it. We need to find the sweet spot because so far we got a lot of bitter and not a whole lot of sweet. Uh, I hear the sound of charging. It's getting there. It's not quite there yet, but that's okay because we got other stuff to do anyways. I need three glass. So let's go ahead and get this refine. We'll finish off alien containment. Perfect. And there's the first layer of alien containment, in case you were wondering what that looked like. We can use the bottom to plant crops, and then we can use the rest of it to breed fish, which is pretty cool. Get that fishy loving going on down in there with that whack, 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 whack. Build myself a ladder to go up to the next layer. I like to rotate my ladders. It makes it easier for me to to go up and down. I don't know, context-wise, I end up going up and down ladders accidentally a lot unless I make them rotate. So it's easier if I do it like this. And I think that should take us up to the final level up here. I think? Is there another one? Oh, maybe there is another one. I had no idea that I went up that high. Oh, don't do that. Here, we'll take that back. Now, it does mean that when I go down here, I've got to walk in between these ladders a little bit. But I, I think that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make for right now in order to make it so that I don't get stuck on ladders going up and down and trying to figure out which direction I want to go in just yet. Getting there. Working on it. I don't know if I want to rock the signal right now. We got a lot of quartz sitting around. God. Let me store some of this stuff and wait for the batteries. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode. 
of Subnautica. I will see you all in future episodes. I hope you're having fun so far. I really, really like this game, and so I'm glad we got to play it again. I will see you all later when we reconvene. Hopefully then we will have electricity. We will have all kinds of good things going on, and then it will be the hunt for the sea moth, and also the thing that recharges the thing that charges the sea moth. All right, bye, everybody.